Hey guys, welcome back to Gear by Orla. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today I'm reviewing the Hive backpack from the brand Tropicville. <laughs> So the guys at Dream Big Travel for uh, have been working with Tropic Field near enough from the beginning. Tropic Field sent this out to Kaz and Bradley actually. Um, by no means am I told what to say or anything like that. There is affiliate links in the description. So if you choose to have a wee gander at this bag and you want to buy it, then I would appreciate if you do use the links below as it does offer a commission that goes back into the channel. But as far as anyone telling me what to say, ain't gonna happen. In comparison to maybe the Wicks um, travel backpack, I've done a review on that, you can head over to my channel to check that out. But in comparison to that, this is way less complicated to transform than the Wicks one was. They're not, it's not overly complicated, but I feel like this is more easy to adapt. It kind of just moves in motion, so you kind of know where everything else sits and where it's supposed to be. Whereas the Wicks one, I did have to kind of look up uh, quite often on how to change and adapt the backpack whereas this is quite simple and even if you don't um over on their website it's pretty clear they uh, go step by step um which is great not that you will need it because it's pretty straightforward with this backpack which is quite handy this backpack without any added features is priced at two four six dollars which is on the pricey end for a backpack and um, it does come with an adaptable bum bag that is the hip strap and it transforms into a bum bag which i'll get into a bit later but if you want to kind of add in any other features such as the packing cube or maybe the camera cube or toiletry pouch, things like that, it's gonna go up in price each time depending on what you add to it. So Tropic Feel are a sustainable brand, which I absolutely love. This backpack is 100% recycled polyester, which is great, DWRPU coating. They say it's not uh, waterproof, water resistant, weatherproof type style. They don't uh, suggest that you submerge it into like water or anything like that. Um, and if you are going to clean this backpack, they suggest that you dry it down maybe with a damp cloth or if there is like prominent stains or anything like that within the bag, then um, they suggest using soap and some water and letting it dry uh, itself. I have had the chance to test out Tropic Feel's other backpacks. Um, a few more are coming, I believe, but one that I have tested about a year or so ago was the Nest backpack. I'll pop up a picture. And I think the difference is that this is their most technical backpack. I think they had it in mind, um, thinking about creators and those who live nomad lifestyles. Uh, when creating this bag, that's the kind of mindset that they were in and how adaptable it can be and how interchangeable it can be to any adventure. So shipping is pretty straightforward. The item got here qu pretty quickly. Um, they do have warehouses in the UK, US and Germany. I would head over to their website to check out what's you know best suited for you. The only thing is if you were to return this backpack, you have to pay the fee for that, which I think is ridiculous. It is a 22 liter and it does expand up to 46 liters. So at this stage that it is at, at the minute, it is 22 liters and the dimensions for this are 49 by 30 by 17 centimeters. Then a 26 liters banded, which is 49 by 30 and 20 centimeters. Then the 32.5 liter expanded with the kangaroo pouch is 60 by 30 by 20 centimeters. Now the bike itself weighs 1.4 kg they say um now i've got my little device i'm actually going to check that out yep and that would be correct this is what the backpack looks like on me not expanded and this is what it looks like on me expanded so as mentioned you can add on some different features within the bag this kind of closet style or the camera cube or even the toiletry pouch they sent a uh, dream bag travel for this 12 liter packing cube which slides in nicely at the front. Um, the cube is great. I think it would be very useful. I haven't had the chance to use it, um, but it just opens up like so. And then you have um, a pouch here in the front, which is quite spacious itself. And then you have a few netted pockets, which is great. Um, so you can just kind of 
then pack this up put it in the front and then whenever you get to a place you can just hang it up which is very handy if i had have had the option to request maybe one of the extra items instead of the 12 liter packing cube i would have requested the fidlock kind of toiletry pouch and um, because i feel like i would have made more use of that but definitely adding on something i feel is a bonus it is a bit pricey but it's probably definitely worth it so i would check out all their other little items that you can attach to the bag i just found that without the toiletry pouch i don't really care for these little stubs i guess it gives it that kind of urban feel but i don't really like it so the reason i haven't used the packing cube was down to the fact that i took this bag with me to london um, and I was down visiting Kazia and Bradley with my partner. We actually went to see the weekend in concert um, That was absolutely great. So I thought okay perfect opportunity to test this bag out So a couple of hours before I was actually leaving for the airport. I had packed this bag out um, Didn't use the packing cube or anything like that and um, I had my toiletries in the front and a camera I had the top pocket packed out inside packed and I kind of thought to myself sugar that's not going to fit in the seat in front of me and um, because i had it as a personal item i don't know for different airlines if you have to pay for your carry-on or not it used to be that you did it with easyjet but now that you do um i was like mm, i haven't paid for that and if i was to go pay for it, it would have been excursionate so got to the airport on the way over absolutely grand fitted in but on the way back the woman was checking all the personal items to see if the backpacks fit in the little slot that they give you um, and it passed, it was grand, it fitted onto the seat nicely, might have needed a wee shove if it was going sideways but apart from that it was absolutely grand. The backpack comes in different colours, it comes in the mulled green, core black and walnut sand. Uh, Bradley actually picked out this colour and I'm glad he did, I do like that. If I didn't pick this one it would have been the walnut sand um, and this will be slowly making its way to Bradley after this review. But I had the opportunity to test it out beforehand for a couple of weeks, which has been great. So I just want to run through some of the main features. Let's start with the top uh, pocket here, which is a top loading pocket. It's kind of the moon shaped, um, it pulls down nicely. And inside is this microfiber face material. In here I had my keys, sunglasses, lip balm and AirPods, just all sitting at the front. There is no real anti-theft test, so just be aware of that when you're placing things in there. What is nice is that if you want to put things in here and you're a bit scared of the risk, then there is um, a netted zip that you can place any more, you know, more delicate items in there and just sip it nicely over and that's nice and safe in that zip as well. And then at the front is this net system. It's a spider net system, so you have the opportunity with these G-hooks to take it off. It's a bit of a struggle um, as you can see if you're smart about it I'm sure it'll be fine but just watch me fight for it um, so that comes off and down if you don't want it you can tuck it away in the bottom sometimes um, if I was bringing my laptop I didn't bring it with me to London but if it was I would slip it in here until going through security so it's easy to just pull out you could place electronics in here it's nice and tight in um, at your own risk as well. This uh, netted kind of material isn't like when I think of net, I think of like a mosquito net. It's nothing like that. It's definitely got a prim premium, premium feel. And then onto this kind of front pocket here, it does run down deeply, down to about here, which is great. I had my liquids and um, camera in there because it was just quite easy going through security to just pull everything out instead of opening up the main compartment which is the clamshell opening and that can be a bit annoying and time consuming especially if you're going through London airports on the way back if everyone knows how busy that is and the stresses of people just shouting at you um, going through security so that's quite handy so then we have the main compartment which is the clam shell opening <laughs> and it just opens like so hopefully you can see that well and there is plenty of space as mentioned you do have the opportunity to expand this bag which i'll probably get into a bit further but the expansion is done at the bottom and you just kind of open it, it doesn't open too much 
as mentioned its biggest form is 46 liters but it just opens enough so it gives you that extra room in there should you need it and if you want it this material uh, is that water resistant material so it's great if you have any spillages you have two netted pockets in here um, I find that packing it yourself is probably better if you put things in here then it makes it more bulky but it's up to you it is there if you need it and um, two little zipped mesh pockets which is great um, all well for space here and then what you have is your I guess your laptop compartment at the front it does fit up to about my 11 inch fits in there fine I think it fits up to even 16 if not more inches um on the front you have two horizontal pockets netted pockets and they zip across slightly one is small on the first one and then the second one is slightly bigger so you can fit like your chargers ipods etc in there and then inside the laptop compartment it is held down by a velcro and it has the brand name on the top opens like so and inside again is this fleece material which is great it helps protect all your belongings that are in there as well it's not overly padded like here um so take what you will from that there is you know a lot of flexibility so whether or not you feel like your belongings are protected if you have the packing cube in front that's going to add extra padding and whatever in there so just Keep a note of that. The expansion here has a lovely little detail. I absolutely appreciate that. It's their slogan, Beyond Travel. Um, just gives them that nice premium feel and added features. I feel like they don't overdo it or anything like that. These straps put into consideration that they kind of curve to um, that area, um, your chest area, so that it, it feels more comfortable and not suffocating. When I did bring this down to London and um, Bradley was trying it on and um, he was saying about the straps and he just really didn't appreciate them he felt like they were too rough and rugged and rightly so there isn't really a lot of padding going on there but I couldn't really notice it because I've been wearing like uh, like jumpers and things like that so I wouldn't really have known if it had hurt or if I had felt the uncomfortableness of it because my the pattern on my coats were making the difference so I decided to test it out on my skin and um, just with the wee vest top to see what it would be like and it's definitely not as comfortable as other brands it just doesn't feel nice on the skin it does feel very rough and rugged I would be afraid over a period of time that because of the lack of airflow on this strap that it would get very very sweaty it just over time would soak into that um that material and then develop like a smell or um it would just become really uncomfortable in comparison to other brands where there's a lot more of a softer material but whenever i do have jackets and coats and things like that on i don't notice it at all the back panel i absolutely love the style of it i feel like it's very aesthetically pleasing there isn't an over a uh, great amount of airflow running through this backpack i feel like this panel is great and there is kind of layers to it like some of um the back pad in here is raised and some is a bit flatter to kind of prompt your posture and it, it is that kind of hard material it isn't overly soft but it kind of corrects your posture and i feel like that's what you need it's not uncomfortable or anything like that i just feel like maybe on those hotter days it might soak in or there wouldn't be enough airflow as I would like. Okay let's get into some pros and cons. So my first con is definitely this water bottle compartment. It's the first backpack that hasn't fitted my 500ml Super Sparrow uh, freaking water bottle and it's a struggle to even get my hand in there. Um, so that was a bit disappointing i feel like even with it fully packed you're not really going to get much in there either um but on the bright side i suppose you could look at it as placing your tripod and hanging it through this strap as well that might be something to make use of it i actually did make use of this strap here so a lot of the backpack is covered with the g-hook um styled uh buckles here so you just hook that on and I did place my um, 
headphones over this and I find it very convenient to just slip this off and get my headphones as opposed to tying it around say this and it getting all stuck and flopped about so you could use that side for that but you could also use this side for hanging in your tripods this is that seat belt material with the g hooks and this might give you a bit more support but do note that there is no real bottom to it so ensuring that you have that tightly fitted in um not really a con i just don't know what it's for maybe you can all enlighten me in the comments this I stupidly tried to place it over a suitcase and the bag just fell over. So it is something I'm sure that is so obvious. And when I upload this, it'll just go ping. So if you do let me know, I'll probably know by then, but um, do enlighten me <laughs> uh, a bit more. The backpack does have the sternum strap. I do like the sternum strap. I think for the price, maybe they could have done a bit more than just a wee clicky McClickerson, but um, it's not removable or anything like that. It is adjustable by maneuvering it like so on both sides. I don't know about you, but like, there's a lot going on in this back. Like there's a lot of extra material just flapping about that. A uh, sternum strap can't be stored away. Yes, on some of the straps you've got these um, elastic kind of tugs here that can just neatly make them look like this, but they're still there and there is no way of hiding most of them. Um, there is just a lot of extra material flapping about and it can be quite overwhelming. I guess it goes with the urban look of the bag again, but there is just a lot of external um features on this bag which can come in handy if you want to attach things like there is a lot of external um little holes that you can attach anything that you might need throughout the bag here but for me i just feel like there could have been a way of maybe storing them away if you don't need them on the zips here you do have these tugs that i love but again it's this whole there's so much not on the front line, the front is um, giving peace and then this is giving chaos. Um, for the price maybe I would have expected YKK zippers but these zips are absolutely fine. My absolute favourite feature on this backpack has to be the transformable hip belt that comes out. It is held down by some velcro if you can hear. Um, so there is no moving that when it is a hip belt. A hip belt? A hip belt? which is great. Also, the hip belt itself is perfect. It works really well in supporting you. So it just comes off. Like I said, it is stuck in the back here by Velcro, so there is no move in that. Uh, you can rest assured it is in place whenever it's in there. And then voila. I absolutely love this. Like when I was going to London, I found it so handy because as mentioned, I was worried that I wasn't gonna get it in as a personal item. So the less I could put into the bag was great. So I had this underneath my hoodie with my passport um, cards. No, that's a lie, I didn't have my passport. I'll get into that in a minute. I didn't have my passport in there. I had my phone, my cards, and something else. I don't know what else, but I did have something else in there. And it is quite spacious as well. So the handles are great on the backpack. You've got one up here. It is all that seatbelt material. I don't get as creeped out by this if you have seen my, what bag was it? The Nomadic. Um, light 15 meters it doesn't creep me out as much when it is as uh, rugged as this in comparison to the actual like slimy seatbelt material I really don't like that this um, works well with the bag I feel like it is strong enough you've got one here and then you have another on the side so you can enter it into briefcase mode should you want and there is no real give with it so this is what you get um, and if your hand doesn't fit, then that's it. There is no like pulling and extra material comes out or anything like that. It's just how it is. Like so. Then we have the bottom of the bag. I mean, there is a protection here. So you are protected in that drop um, first from this, but here, not so much. And also this is one of the best features about this backpack. Oh, I was just about to open the expansion. Uh, is this kangaroo pouch which is amazing because you have the opportunity to open this up should you want and fit shoes clothes and more clothes dirty clothes wet clothes say you're out and about taking this on a hike and you want to go for a wee dip 
put your wee wet clothes in there and then it's separated. It's amazing. And it is held down by these G hooks, which is great. And um, it just gives you that extra space should you need it. And I think it is a lovely added feature. You have access to it um, going through like that. So I really enjoy that. Um, I didn't get to use it again because I didn't use this as a carry on. Um, so I wouldn't know. So I definitely would have had to pay like a hundred pounds. Uh, to get this bad boy on the flight so um it's there definitely if you need it um it does make good for an extra pair of shoes or whatever that you need in there say you've got your whole wardrobe of clothes in the clamshell opening and you need your shoes plop them on the bottom so on the side here this is the first time i've actually used this pocket like on any backpack that has it which is um the little side compartment and i still have my passport in there. Whilst I was doing this review, I just noticed something. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up. Let me see, maybe it won't. There is a bit of material coming off already and that's not something I want straight away. So it seems like something has plucked this. Um, another thing to note, it was down here on this um, part of the zip. It just is a bit of a struggle sometimes. With this uh, zip, it's great because it, everything's like tapered in. There is no way of water kind of seeping through that because it is well uh, sealed. But with that, sometimes um, the zip does get a bit stuck there. The backpack does hold its shape. Um, maybe be aware if you are packing like shoes and things like that in the kangaroo pouch, maybe that will just um, off balance it a bit. But apart from that, the structure is well put together. Um, it is adaptable. It's easy to adapt is on the pricey end i will leave alternatives in the description as well and i will have the opportunity to test out more backpacks from topic field they are a reliable brand i do love their products and i do love the company um in regards to their sustainability and things like that there is a few things obviously that kind of bring it down for me but there is a lot that makes it a positive backpack and would suit the you know the style of someone who is in the creative business who is looking for a well-rounded structured backpack that they can take on different adventures and adapt to their needs. I do love that you have the option to also um, tighten in the backpack up here so you again are having uh, the option to build this backpack to your own build and height. This backpack is an overall great backpack um, if you would prefer to read the written review then the links will be in the description along with the links to the products I have mentioned today. I hope you have a beautiful week and see you in the next review.